car at the front end of the Defender and I'm going to take you through some of the utility that the front box and drawbar provides. So on the top we've got a large cargo basket. Now that's perfect for things like firewood, for ground mats, for rubbish bins basically. Anything that's quite likely to leave debris or rubbish behind because it's conveniently got some low washout points here so you can just hose it out at the end of the trip and it's got some easy um, tie down points at the top so you can just throw some bungee cords on there and secure it down. Now inside here you've got the main tunnel boot storage area of the front box which is a huge area. It's perfect for putting extra things like barbecues, generator slides or even for carrying larger bits of equipment like chainsaws and axes and things like that. That at the end there that you can see is actually the diesel tank for the onboard diesel heater that's fitted on this fan here. It's worth noting as well that these doors actually stay open on gas struts so they're not going to blow shut on you. Now on the front here at the top you've got a pole storage area which is extremely useful to get quick and easy access to things like your awning handles and your leg winder handles, anti-flap kits and things like that. On the front you've got storage for two 20 litre jerry cans so you can take extra petrol, diesel or water on your trip with you and then underneath this little hatch you've got twin gas bottles so they actually power the onboard gas hot water system and the stove located under the awning area there. You can also obviously use these for barbecues and things like that. Now down on the drawbar here we've got Cruise Master's DO35 hitch which is an extremely popular off-road hitch for a lot of reasons. It's very very easy and quick to use which makes it safe and then also you've got the articulations here which mean that it's perfect for off-road travel. Sitting just back from that we've got the hitch, um, the um, jockey wheel which has been modified for height to make it easier for people with four-wheel drive to actually get the hitch onto the back of their car without using chocks because we all know that can be a little bit of a faff. And then just behind here we've actually got the trail safe unit which is a requirement for all trailers over two tons in Australia. So as you can see it's a very practical front end and very easy to use. Something else that's worth adding is the fact that this front box is actually coated with a rubberized paint which means that it actually can take impact from things like stones that are coming up from the tow vehicle. What we've actually done is chamfered a lot of these edges downwards so that hopefully most of the stones that are coming here will get hit and deflected down. Although that being said, we do recommend if you're going to do a lot of extended travelling on unsealed roads, then stone stuff is always a great option to have on you.